We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. 